this is Renee, and today I'm going to show you a super easy way to store your rulers and have them handy right at your cutting board whenever you need them. This kind of came out of the fact that I rearranged my studio and now my table sits up close to a wall and some of my rulers uh, are too big for the drawer where I was keeping the smaller ones and I didn't really have a place to hang uh, my bigger rulers and I kept tipping them up against the back wall and they kept sliding down and getting in my way. And I also have my um, uh, ironing pad that I use on my table a lot and that was sliding down and getting in the way. So one day I thought, you know, I could just screw a strip of wood to my table and then use that as a ledge to prop up all my rulers and then they'll stay put, but they'll also be super, super handy when I need them. Um, uh, it works really well, particularly for my big ruler, like my 6 inch by 24 inch ruler that I use all the time. Um, and so now it doesn't slide and it just stays put right where I want it, right when I need it. And today I'm going to show you how to do that on your own table. So uh, here we go. For this project, you'll need your strip of wood. This one is about 20 inches long. It's an inch and a half wide and three quarters of an inch thick. That's just what I happen to have on hand. Um, as long as the piece of wood is long enough for your purposes, anything will do. Um, so just if you have some scrap wood around or something left over from another project, you can use that. You'll need uh, two screws and it's important that your screws will be um, thick enough to go through your wood and about at least a quarter of an inch into your table. So you can see that that would extend through the thickness of the wood and into the table. You will need a screwdriver or you will need a screwdriver bit for your drill, which I will show you in just a minute. Here's the bit. Um, you will need a drill bit that is the same diameter as your, come on, get into focus there. Hello, there it goes. Your drill bit needs to be the same diameter as your screws and to test that you can just hold the screw and the drill bit up side by side and check to see that they're about the same size. And last, you'll need a pen and a power drill. Okay, so here I am at my table ready to work. Uh, I'm going to start with my strip of wood and just position it where I want it to be on the table. Um, in this case, I think I want it to be about three inches back from the edge, maybe four, so that I have enough thickness that my ironing pad will fit there and my rulers will fit in front of it and there's a little bit of room for it to tip back, for them to tip back against the wall. So I'm going to take that, then I'm going to take a pen and just mark a line where I want that to be. And if you want to measure from the line back to the edge of the table and check to make sure that they're parallel and straight, uh, you can do that. Uh, now it's ready. Now we're ready to screw our wood in. So I'm going to start by drilling a guide hole. And the reason that we do this, uh, in this particular case, just getting my drill bit in there. Okay, nice and straight and tight. Okay, so in this particular case, um, my table is oak. Um, it was this wonderful dining table that I found in the trash a few years ago. Per already scratched up, so I'm not worried about drilling holes in it or scratching it up. Um, it's been well loved and well used, and I have added to the well loved and usedness of it. So I'm just going to screw this strip right into the surface of the table right here. Um, so with my drill, I'm going to drill a guide hole. And I'm going to go far enough down into the table that um, the screw can go down into the table. So now I'm going to put my screwdriver bit into the drill. Yeah. And the screw is going to screw, kind of start it into the wood there, into the guide hole, and then I'm just going to screw it down into here. Um, and when I can feel it go through the wood, I'm just going to check to see where that hole is in the tabletop and then go ahead and finish screwing the screw down into the tabletop. Yeah, my 
There we go. All right. Now the reason I do that first is because now when I do the other end, when I drill that hole, um, it's going to be uh, right where I need it, and I don't have to worry about positioning um, the hole and the drill, uh, the screw. I just know that they're all going to be in the same place. So got my drill bit in there, and here we go. I'm deep enough, and I'm back out, and then switching over to my screwdriver bit. Uh, I read somewhere um, one time that a woman, that every woman should have two things, a black lace bra and a power drill. So ladies, I won't tell you if I have a black lace bra or not, but you can see I do have a power drill, and I use this thing a lot. Drilling that screw down into the hole. Oops, let's get that straight. Come on. Sometimes you just gotta handle it like you mean it. There we go. There. That's nice and solid. Okay, there's my strip. I'm all it's all secure, and now I'm ready to uh, put my ironing pad and my rulers against the wall. Um, you know, this is a pretty long table and so if I need more storage I could always put another strip further down that way on the table and have uh, more storage going down there. And so maybe I'll do that another day, but for now uh, I've got a place to store my rulers and my ironing pad and uh, now you know how to do it too. So have a great day and happy quilting! <laughs>